JTV, thank you for tuning in today. Um, that clip that you guys have just seen um, was from Jax Jones, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, um, and I wanted to make like a cool little <laughs> cinematic <laughs> intro kind of thing and do the do a really good night justice. Um, but it ended up just being really cheesy and crappy. Either way, uh, it was a great night. So um, welcome to the video. Let's get started. Hello, Villa. So, if you guys have pre-ordered any joggers, as you can see there's a hoodie behind me, but there's not very many of them left as well. I was kind of hoping to get rid of those while the joggers release. However, I've been in talks with the supplier and the, the you know, the order was made a good, uh, what, two, three weeks ago now? Um, and I still not got them. And the normal turnaround time is around about, you know, two to three weeks. And I was just, I was saying to him basically, you know, where are they? Where, where are the joggers? And he was, he came back to me and said that there was a, a shortage of supplies um, and that pretty much, long story short, he was saying it's out of his control because he gets the supplies in for, for me and then stitches them and everything, embroids them and then gives them to me. So he's sort of like the middle party between the really external supplier, him and then there's me over here who just asked him to get it for, long, sto long story. So pretty much what he said to me is that there's been a shortage, whether it's because of Christmas or New Year or, or I, I have absolutely no idea. It's mid-February, I don't think there can be really many excuses at this time of year, but um, hey, I'm uh, I'm new to this, so maybe maybe that's a legitimate reason, I, I don't know. So what I wanted you guys to know is that they are on the way, they're just, um, taking their time. So I just appreciate you guys um, sticking with me as always. Together we will grow. <sighs> right, so a little bit of a dissertation update. As you guys know, I'm a student. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel and uh, new to this video, subscribe. You will not regret it. I am a student at Nottingham Trent University and I am doing a dissertation that pretty much revolves around the gym. Pretty cool, right? Essentially what I'm doing is looking into bodybuilding culture within the student gym. I'm gonna start the research next week so I'll be able to show you guys the whole process. I mean, obviously I'll need permission and everything like that, so, um, but I don't think, that, I can't really see that being an issue. Um, so I'm gonna look into sort of the motives for going to the gym. It's always something that's really interested me because um, I, I've always sort of been into the gym, like, had an interest in it, but only in the last sort of year, 18 months have I actually taken it seriously. So um, it'll be interesting to find out sort of what people are thinking, get people's actual thought, and do some proper research on it, you know, because it's quite a big responsibility when you think about it. So I've got to crack on with a little bit of literature uh, research, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Two hours later. Right, so for the rest of the video, guys, I wanted to, um, God, I look like shit. Okay, that'll do. Why my cheeks so red? Anyway, right, so I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on the rest of the video, um, just with where I'm at, because at the time of filming this, there's eight days left of the bulk, so just over a week, um, and more than likely, there'll be less than that when the majority of you are actually viewing this video. So, I thought I would tell you where I'm at with the bulk, with my weight, with my list, with absolutely everything, and then my plan, going forward into the cut because that is my aim with this channel to be as you know I hate sound or cliche and everything like that but I want to be as you know transparent as what as the word gets used it gets thrown around a lot on YouTube however I do like to think that you know I give one of the more honest sort of reviews honest opinions on well everything really because I mean look at me I'm hardly Arnold Schwarzenegger am I so I'm just documenting my experience so that's going off on a tangent. What I wanted to say was, I actually haven't, I have a bit of a confession to make to be honest with you guys. 
I haven't weighed myself for over a week. I got to 187 pounds, which is 0.5 pounds over the goal weight that I said, oh, if I lose, if I gain this amount, 0.5 pounds a week, blah, blah, blah. You guys already know that stuff already. I'm pretty sure I've gained more muscle mass than I have fat because I still have abs and, you know, any stuff that I've done wrong before, I haven't done wrong this time. Um, I know that might sound a little bit big headed, but, you know, that's the truth. I can see the progression and the growth within myself and hopefully you guys can see that as well. So, I haven't actually weighed myself for, um, I think the last time, well, what day is it now? It's Tuesday now, so I, I haven't weighed myself for like six or seven days. And that the reason is, I thought, okay, I can't do that much damage in like a 10 day period. If I eat what I want, if I train the way I want for 10 days, that's not gonna make a big difference. You guys already know that I wanted to hit some big lifts. I'm doing that. Not only the 100 kg bench press, now for four reps, I've hit a brand new bench press PB of 110 kilos. You guys have seen that on my Instagram already, so if you're not following, what are you doing with your life? The link's in the description box and get on it right now. Hit an 85 kg overhead press, and that in my eyes is very impressive. However, I still know that I can go heavier, so I'm gonna be doing that a little later on in the week. I've hit 160 kg squats. I've done really good solid lifts growth progress right if I carry on eating the way I have you know the lean bulk sort of style of things that's not gonna make too much difference in terms of the amount of fat I'm not gonna gain that much more muscle either in the next 10 days I just want to hit these big lifts and so to get it in a way out of my system and before the before the cut starts and everything like that get rid of all these cravings you know like today I picked up I mean I'll, I'll be honest with you guys it's, it's half term and so the Wilco's have put on pick a mix half price pick a mix right see this next to my head as big as my head and as you can see it is stocked full of sugary goodness that is not great. That I will also not be doing on the cut. So what am I doing? I'm getting it out of my system now and just getting it out of the way, getting those cravings away, and then I can start my cut clean, fresh, and ready. The reason I haven't weighed myself is because I don't care. It got to the point where I was just obsessing over it so much and I was like, I can't get, can't get much heavier because of this and this. But then I was looking in the mirror and going, you know what? I'm not putting on body fat. I'm not putting on body fat on my abs, which is where I store it the most. You know, I have a little bit on my love handles, but that'll go. That'll be the first thing to go and then it'll be the stubborn fat. What I'm trying to say to you guys is that I'm over the weight that I'm supposed to be, but in a good way. I've put on more muscle and so that has put me over the edge. I put on more muscle than I anticipated, basically. So that has already put me over. And so if I gain another half a pound of fat, that is not gonna be a big issue. I can just cut, I can do an extra cardio session a week. Who, who cares? If, if, that means, if that means doing an extra cardio session, or, or two, or five, who cares? If doing some extra cardio means that I can enjoy this in the last week of my bulk, then fuck it. I'm gonna do it. And to be honest, not that it's the best thing to be encouraging, I would encourage you guys to do that because it gets it out of your system. And then there's an argument, it's not solid science, but there is an argument that says, eating like this towards the end of the bulk speeds up your metabolism and then when you go into a cut, it helps you burn fat easier. So, I mean, not that I'm testing that method, I mean, we'll see if it works, but like, uh, that's not me intentionally testing that method, but I'm saying there is, you know, there is science that says this shit does work. I'm not saying go out and do it, go out and binge for weeks and weeks and weeks, because then you just put on excess fat and you'll lose the progress that, that, that you worked so hard to gain. So all I'm saying is, guys, I am overweight. I haven't weighed myself. And I don't care. Um, that is essentially where I'm at. I want to hit the big lifts, and that is happening every single session. Perfect. What I want to do is wherever I'm at, whether it's 190 pounds, heck, that's only two, two, three pounds heavier than what I was wanted to be anyway. And I have a feeling that the majority of that is muscle. To track this properly, though, guys, I do have my uh, body, body fat, body weight scales. Uh, you guys have seen them many times in videos. That is accurate should I say, but it's as long as you use that as a consistent basis, but because it comes from the bottom, I'll go into it in a different video, it's not the most accurate way of tracking it. 
They have this thing, these scales at uni. I've tested them at Body Power. You guys have seen me do it before. You hold your hands here, right? And you stand on a scale, barefoot, and then it measures your body fat. It's one of the most accurate ways without it costing thousands of pounds. I'm gonna do that at the end of the bulk and then at the end of the cut as well, just to compare, see where we're at. And I can compare my, my results to this time last year at Body Power as well. That should be interesting in terms of comparing muscle mass and all that kind of stuff. So. That is where I'm at. I think I've rambled enough and I think you guys get the picture. Um, don't be afraid to enjoy yourself because you can always just do a little bit extra cardio. It's not ideal, but that's going to be worth it, trust me. So, that is going to round off today's video, guys. Thank you if you made it this far through this rant and thank you for tuning in today. Drop it a like and a comment down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. As always, remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.